We are going to be trying sublimation on these sublimation ready ceramic ornaments. We are going to be doing both sides at the same time to see how they turn out. So you are going to need sublimation ink, a sublimation printer, sublimation paper, and a heat source. So I brought my images into my Word document. I print from Word. You can print from wherever you choose. But I'm going to be making three of these ornaments today. And so I have a front and a back side for each one. So now I'll go and get these printed. I will also put the link below for the images that we're using on these ornaments. You can find them in my Etsy shop. And also this silicone mat that I have added to my heat source. I'm using the HTV Rant Auto Heat Press. And I find that when I add this silicone mat to it, it works so well, especially with hard substrates such as these ceramic ornaments. So I'll have the link below for this too. So while those images are printing, I am going to be firing up my press. Um, like I said, I'm using the HTV Rant Auto Heat Press, and I am going to be putting protective paper down on that silicone mat. So I also have set this for 385 degrees, and the HTV Rant Auto Heat Press only goes up to 99 seconds, but we are going to be pressing these longer. So like I said, I've got my press set to 385 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to be pressing these for four minutes. So what I'm going to actually do is do roughly two and a half cycles through my HTV Rant auto press set on that 99 seconds. So you're going to also need some heat resistant tape and this is my heat resistant tape dispenser. And then I use coffee filters to clean my ceramic ornaments. Uh, coffee filters are lint free and gets all the debris off of there. Now that my images are done printing, I am going to start trimming them down. Um, I'm going to leave the one that you can see the circle on there. I'm going to leave that a little bit bigger, but I'm going to trim this one where the gingerbread man is breaking through on the right side here. I'm going to trim that down quite a bit. Now to put these images on the ornament, you have to be very careful. You're going to put the top image down, face down on the ornament, and then you're going to hold it firmly and you're going to line the back up. You're going to have the image face up on the back so that the image is touching the ornament on both sides. And then you're going to tape them together with heat resistant tape but do not get any tape on the ornament. Anywhere that you get tape on the ornament, your image will not press onto it. It'll leave a tape mark where the image should be. So be very careful when taping these together that you're taping them firmly, yet be very careful that you don't get any tape somewhere that your image should be pressing. So I've got all three ornaments all taped up here and ready to go in the heat press. So now you can see I laid them down on the protective paper on my press and I have four on here. I'm going to be pressing four at a time. The one on the top left there that the arrow is pointing at, that image I'm only going to be pressing on one side. That is a customer's ornament with custom name and things on there, but I'm gonna be pressing it at the same time as I press these other three. So now I've got them on my protective paper and all I'm using for protective paper for these is a piece of copy paper. And then I'm gonna lay another piece of copy paper over the top. So the image on the left is them laying on the copy paper. And then on the right, you can see that I laid another piece of copy paper over the top. So now I started my press on these at 385 degrees for four minutes. And you're going to want heat resistant gloves or another kind of protection because these ornaments are gonna come out at 385 degrees. They're gonna be extremely hot. And here they are after the four minutes. 
Now you're gonna let these cool slightly. I like to take them off when they're hot. Be very careful if you do decide to do that and make sure that you are setting them on a heat resistant surface to cool and you want to have some protective paper on that as well because if you do other sublimation projects and you lay them on a heat resistant mat, mat there could be some residual ink left over on that so you want to make sure that you have a clean piece of paper to lay them down on and of course I get so excited to unwrap these while they're hot that I did drop one on the floor and it didn't like it so I have a busted gingerbread man but here are the other two the front side of one and the back side of the other they turned out perfect absolutely perfect exactly the way that I wanted them to turn out again this was 385 degrees for four minutes again I put links below for items that I used in this video and also for the images thank you for watching and have a great day